Hello, it's Jim from Tech Buzz, and we're back with the Instax Mini 40 review. And I'm just going to show you some pictures and tell you what we think about it. Now, it is a little bit on the bulky side, as you can see, but it just takes pictures. It's different than using your smartphone. It's got a nice flash. You've got a viewfinder. You've also got a selfie mode on this, which is a nice feature to have for taking selfies. And to do that, you pop out the lens like so, which is pretty cool. And then you will bring this out again for selfie mode here. Films obviously pop up on top, you would have seen the unboxing. You've got a lanyard option as well if you want to carry it, and it's just nice. It is a bulky camera, as I said, and your film count is here. Review finder, and this is for going to help you to keep it balanced when you're taking your shots. But that's really about it on the physical side. It does look nice and will look well sitting in a collection on a shelf as well, if you're into that kind of thing, as it's retro looking. It's nicely built and simple to use. There's nothing to it. No messing around like a smartphone with using all the ISO settings and all that kind of stuff. And this just automatically takes a photograph and two focal ratings on it as well. And you can take close pictures too. So you've got your selfie mode as I said, and your 60 mil total mil focal range. That's really about it on the hardware end of things. Really nice, looks really cool. And but the only thing is, it is bulky as you can see. But there's a nice fun element to having it there, getting your pictures in about 90 seconds. And that's really all there is to it. Nothing to mess around with. Just take your picture and away you go. And there's your focus range here and your instant lens 60 millimeters up on the front there. So that's really it on the actual camera itself. So just some pictures I took. You've also got a new thing called contact sheets as well, which you'll see. So here is just a selfie and one with the contact sheet. So you can see the difference in the two there. And some pictures did come out blown and overexposed and stuff like that, but it's just an art getting it right with these. So here is another one here, some flowers. That's the tower, and you can see there, again with the contact sheet, the difference in the two photographs there with the frames. So that's just to give you an idea what they're looking like. Oh, it's coming out as ISO 800 there. And some other pictures that we took with them. Just to give you an idea again of what you're going to get some trees and of course i did take it out to test in the night um as people were asking not that we'd be going anywhere at the moment but again there's a rainbow in the background it didn't come out as good as i expected but you can see it there so these are some nice shots i took here they come out pretty okay and you can see the neon lights there and again, some images here, some other close up of flowers, a macro kind of shot here, and some other pictures that I took there. Now, some pictures that did, did come out blown out like so, it happens all the time, but um, it's something you can expect. And the same again with the contact sheet, just to keep the review clean and honest, that's what's happened. Could be me, don't know, um, but these things do happen, take the photographs, and that's really about it. So overall, it's a nice camera to have, and um, it looks really well. And again, it's only target, going to target a certain kind of market, but it's certainly a nice piece of kit and the latest that's out there. And this time around, you've got the selfie key here, which is great, and it's really cool. So if you're out having a night out, it does work a night, as you can see. It takes decent enough photographs, and it will power down itself after five minutes of non-use. It uses two batteries to get included. And that's really about it. You get your lanyard strap as well. And that's it on the Instax Mini 40. So it's a nice classic looking camera. And that's all I can really say. Really fun, really nice. And that's all for now. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Thanks to Instax for sending this camera to us. They didn't give us any compensation or get a pre-approved copy of my review. What you hear from me is what my thoughts are and weren't influenced by the company or anybody else. I'll talk to you soon. See you in the next one on techbazorland.com.